and uh, uh, the, the, uh, the elder among our group. And uh, there's many more of us who are here, but the Nez Perce people uh, are, are here with you. We, we had a delegation that came out earlier and one of our, our flag is one of the flags that's flying here on the road coming into camp. My grandma always told me that uh, water is medicine. And the fight that you are fighting here, that's the fight that we were meant, that we were put on this earth to fight. Everything that we do is for the protection of Mother Earth. All of the teachings, all of the songs. And this is the time, the time has come for us to stand up and to be who we are, to be, to fulfill the purpose and the prophecies about why the Creator placed us here in the in the different places that we were put. The Namipu are all we're all river people. We all come. We can all know our different rivers. And uh, in 1877, your people took us in after, after one of the darkest chapters in our history. Uh, after the after the Nez Perce War and the battle at, at Bear Paw, many escaped into Canada to stay at uh, Sitting Bull's camp. And we want to be here with you at this very important time. And so we just uh, ask Creator to bless your work and we will continue to be here standing with you all. I'd like to introduce our council member, uh, McCoy Oatman, to say a few words. Atulah, mina oikala kahim yuma. My name is Mokoi Timuni Oakman. I serve as the vice chair for the Nespers tribe. It's an honor to be here in this camp. I'd just like to formally thank the Sioux people because my, my great great grandmother during the War of 1877 made it past the Bear's Paw and made it up into Canada with uh, Chief Whitebird. My fiance here, she comes from Chief Whitebird. So if it wasn't for you guys' as people, you know, I wouldn't be standing here today with my my daughter, Jimmy Rose. And so it's just an honor to be here. We, we uh, drove all last night, got here five this morning. And um, I, if you know the Nimupu people, we're known as dreamers. And my fiance has been having dreams about this place, um, the same continuous dream. and. She said, I have to go over there, and so we made the trip over here to be here, to stand with you guys, and it's an honor. It's, it's awesome to see people standing up and fighting. I think now's the time. You know, back home, we're battling the dams on the Columbia River, on the Snake River, and that litigation still goes on today, and we're still, we're still continuing on that fight, even though, um, you know, we're up against great odds, but I believe one day, you know, we're going to free those rivers again. They're going to run clear and free again, so. Katsiaya, we're here with you in prayer. Got people back home. A lot of descendants here from former chiefs. You know, I brought my little my little brother here, came with me. He's a direct descendant of Chief Joseph. And so all these bloodlines still run strong. But I'd like to thank you, Katsiaya, for taking care of my people and allowing me to stand here today. Yokolo. <laughs> 